Brainiacs, what if we told you that your brain is a liar? No, don't worry, it's not lying about whether or not that bedhead is working for you, because it is. However, when it comes to illusions, sleight of hand, and magic tricks, your brain does take a shortcut here and there to make sense of altered reality. The umbrella of mind bogglers such as magicians, illusionists, and mentalists take advantage of the brain's assumptions to process the incomplete visual data that it's receiving, which is also known as amodal completion. Take the bending spoon trick. A good magician would have you believe that the human mind is causing the metal to bend ever so slightly. Although there are a number of variations to this trick, the magician is most likely holding two unconnected parts to make it seem like it belongs to one spoon. The brain doesn't even take into consideration that it may come in two parts because your kitchen drawer isn't full of half spoons. In today's video, we talk about the other ways in which these tricks can make you question your very own reality and how exactly they meddle with our brains. Speaking of magic tricks, watch! We're gonna make all of this disappear in three, two, one, poof. All magic tricks can be narrowed into the category of illusion. A scientist who studies illusions defines them as a mismatch between immediate visual impression and the actual properties of the object. In other words, our brain gathers pieces of data from our senses like taste, smell, but most of all sight, plays with our expectations to finally alter our reality. Take a basic card trick. The magician would have you memorize this four of clubs. After shuffling it, what do you know? He found the one card in a pile of 52 using nothing other than magic, right? But what if we told you the entire deck had nothing but fours of clubs? We know a regular deck of cards would have different colors, numbers, and suits, so we assume that the magician would also hold a similar deck. Now this is why we have trust issues. But illusions serve a purpose greater than simple birthday party magic tricks. Nature uses plenty of optical illusions for self-preservation against predators. Take the Atlas Moth. This delicate creature would not stand a chance in nature if it were not for its snakehead wing pattern. Animals also use optical illusions to mate. For instance, the Fiddler Crab. A female fiddler prefers a mate with large claws. Because of this, the smaller male crabs consciously scope out two even smaller males to increase the likelihood of a female picking them out of the lot. As for the human world, optical illusions seem to date back to ancient Greece. Back then, architects loved to play with the impression of size, length, or distance when it came to their buildings. They designed columns that tapered and narrowed towards the top in order to create the impression of a taller building when viewed from the ground. By now, you may be wondering if illusions were invented simply to deceive and play tricks on the mind. While slightly altering our reality can be a tiny moment of entertainment, in some cases they become part of a person's job description. For example, pilots trained for combat are exposed to all sorts of illusions. Take the narrow runway illusion. By the end of training, a skilled pilot should be able to distinguish how far or close they are to the ground in order to ensure a safe landing. This illusion plays with the pilot's sense of sight and trains them not to rely purely on their senses, but rather on their years of training and education. When it comes to those who work mostly on the ground, illusions are really helpful. Take the classic mirage in the desert. This occurs when air closer to the Earth's surface is warmer than the air above it, causing the light to bend when it passes through. This can trick drivers or the occasional wandering hitchhiker to mistake in the roads for water. Truck drivers who spend days, sometimes weeks, on the road are trained to distinguish when their highway is actually wet or if their eyes are playing tricks on them. This doesn't seem like very useful information to your typical driver, though, but an undetected wet road can mean serious trouble for truck drivers everywhere. I mean, imagine if your Amazon packages didn't arrive the next day. As for what exactly optical illusions can teach us about the brain, Gustav Kuhn, a magician turned psychology researcher, says our brain is very entertained by magic because it allows us to experience things that we believe to be impossible. You may think that rabbits appearing out of hats isn't useful information for our brain to process, but it exercises is the part of the brain that handles creativity and abstract information. More importantly, it keeps us skeptical. In a day and age of fake news and clickbait, optical illusions and magic can get us asking how and why so that we don't simply accept anything just as fact. So the next time you roll your eyes at the birthday party magician, think about how his cheesy magic tricks and overdone optical illusions are actually exercising a crucial part of your brain. Now watch this magic trick. All these other videos will appear out of nowhere. Abracadabra! Don't forget to like and subscribe to Brainiac for more videos explaining how the brain works and other quirky science-related questions. Later, Brainiacs.